Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video! KSP, 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 SSTO, SSTO, for the algorithm. Damn you, algorithm. Anyway, so... Where the fuck was I going with this? Oh yes, I recently downloaded a mod called Turd. Oh, hold on, let me back that up. It's called T U D. R, yes. Tur Wait, no. T U R D. Turd. Yes. Turd. Yes, turd. It, sa it, sta it stands for. What the fuck does it stand for? Mm. It stands for. Shit. Well, no, it stands for whatever. You what? really <laughs> <laughs> It stands for whatever the. F that. I'm gonna put it up here. I, don't, I can't. I, for some reason, I completely <laughs> farted in my brain and I don't know what it. And they'll right well you can see it you guys can see it you guys can see it because I'm gonna put it up there as I'm talking but yeah that right there it's a color it's a color coding mod it it's a lot better than simple paint um, I'm in love with this mod literally in love with this mod it is really good when it comes to painting your craft and the wings and the, it, it, they did a very very good job with this with this mod. Now I can I heard that there's a mod that can actually make this mod even better called Lazy Painter. But for now I'm okay. I'm okay with the T U R D T U R D. I'm okay with the turd. Um, it's nice. I like it a lot. Sorry. Yeah. Um. So so um. Anyway, what you see before you is of course an S S T O. Why wouldn't it be? That's just what we do on this channel. This SSTO, this, yeah, this SSTO <laughs> channel, this, um, this SS, <laughs> what was I gonna Okay, so this particular SSTO was made a, a while ago, actually. It's, I wanna say last year? Was it last year? I can't remember. But it, I wanted to revisit and revisit it and revamp it because the SSTO originally had only one air shot cone, which is fine because you can. You can you can fly a rapier. I mean, you can fly almost almost six rapiers with just one shot cone. It's not recommended. You have to be very careful, or else you will flame out. But it's doable, especially when you're getting up to speed in high altitudes. This helps a lot when it comes to weight and drag, of course. But the reason why I had only one shot cone on this bad boy was of course for weight and drag but the shot cone was actually on the tail where it was on the tail end and I'm sure I'll find a picture somewhere around here but anyway it was on the tail end and it just didn't seem right it didn't seem right I mean you you got these engines on the side but you got the air intake way on top and there's no real feasible way that that would work unless some sort of Thing happened with physics where it magically went from the tail and got pumped into the engine somehow which would be extraordinarily uh, inefficient in every way so I wanted to make it look a little more like inline intakes and what I did was I used the little scoops that come with the fuselage now this gentleman right here go ahead and check out his channel he's pretty cool he reminded me that these um, Scoops are actually optimized for low atmosphere or subsonic speeds. And of course, as we all know, rapiers need uh, hypersonic speeds and higher atmosphere in order to work properly. This is true. With the shock cone air intake, I was getting air breathing uh, engine functionality all the way up to almost 30,000 meters before, uh, before the air intakes went kaput. With these scoops, I only get about maybe 13 to 14,000 meters high before they go kaput and it switches over to rockets. Now, does that affect the does that affect the overall functionality of the SSTO? No, it actually doesn't. Um, sure, it's it's more fuel saving if you're able to run off of liquid fuel and air for as long as you can. But we're talking about me, okay? I can build rocket SSTOs that have a, a, a great delta V by the time they get into orbit, no problems. So this right here is just a walk in the park. 
and the fact that it's already traveling at almost 13,000 meters per second at 13 to 14,000 meters high, as soon as the rockets kick in, it doesn't really take that much oomph in order to get into orbit, so you're left with almost 900 plus meters per second delta V while you're in orbit. That's a lot of delta V, especially just for a craft that just needs to be in orbit. Just needs to go in orbit, so it's not like we're going to the moon and our back, but gosh damn, uh, we probably could with a little bit more fuel. However, I I wanted to make it more SSTO than I wanted to make it more air breathing SSTO than than rocket SSTO. So I went back, revamped it. I put the small little hypersonic scoopers on the sides. At first, I wasn't liking it. It just wasn't clicking for me visually, but it sort of grew on me after a while, just a little bit. It, it sort of started growing on me. I tried to make it look like it was like one big air intake with two little scoopy bits on the side. I don't know. I don't know. You, you, you tell me how, what you think. Um, yes, I could have easily taken the nose cones off of the front of the uh, of the of the engine or the or the gas tanks, the aerodynamic nose cones. I could have swapped them with air intakes, sure, but it it really doesn't. For me, it really doesn't look all that great. It it looks big and it looks bulky and it doesn't just it doesn't really fit. Whereas the scoops on the top of the spacecraft look really nice. They look really really nice. Um, in matter of fact, I might even go back and revamp the the whole damn thing again and just take the hypersonic scoops off the sides because it seems a bit much. It seems like they're just tacked on there. It doesn't really it doesn't really fit for me. Although it, it it's starting to grow on me now but I just liked the original scoops on the sides. They just look really nice, even though efficient-wise, they're not all that great, but still, the fact that it has almost 900 Delta V left over when it gets into uh, space is it's way more than what I need for this small little cargo slash personnel carrier SSTO. At the very end, I went ahead and I actually took more fuel away from it because of the fact that I realized that 900 some odd delta V while you're in orbit is a lot. And so I wanted to thin it out a little bit and make it a little bit lighter. So I took these the little inline fuel tanks on the sides of the wings, took them off, and I'm still left with almost 700 delta V when I get into orbit. That's plenty for any maneuvers that you that you need to do. But yeah, I'm actually going through all of uh, the craft files. Remember, there was uh, some of you who do remember, some of you who don't. A very long time ago, I did a dumb thing and I went into KSP and I accidentally deleted all of my craft files. We are talking almost a hundred different craft files. Huge SSTOs to small SSTOs to weapons to spaceships to space stations to submarines to ships to, to powered ships to uh, pirate wind power sail looking ships to buildings to colonies. Everything was deleted weapons stock weapons you name it so it's gonna be a while before that heals and comes back but <laughs> even recreations uh, the one recreation that I really missed was the Apollo 13 rocket um, since then I've gone ahead and done the um, since then I've done the recreation of the Pathfinder rocket and I thought that came out really well but um, yeah I've been working on uh, the battleships again and I've been working on some weapons and stuff some stock weapons I know there are mods out there that have scripts and whatnot where you can have the weapons actually act like actual weapons it's interesting I might take a look at it we'll see I kind of like the idea of being able to fire the weapon and then f and then guide it into its in, into its target but um, yeah I'm thinking about doing um, weapon and combat tutorials for stock again so we'll see all right, everyone, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing. We do this often, mostly KSP for now until we start dabbling into other other stuff like the World Box. Got almost 1,600 views. Uh, very, very nice response. You know, not, it, it's, I like it. 
Uh, I might I might do it again. We'll see. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, also, membership. If you have membership, if you become a member, you get cool emojis and badges and stuff. Cool little stuff next to your name and whatnot. Pretty cool. Check it out. Don't forget hit the don't forget to click on that bell notification because as we all know, if you don't click on the bell notification, YouTube will leave you in the dust. Every time I make an upload, it will not notify you at all unless you've got that bell notification. So there you go. All right, everybody. Love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you in the next video. So bye for now. Bye-bye. Take care. Toodaloo. Change on day. Bye.